Hi everyone, this is David Wicks, Director of Instructional Technology at Seattle Pacific University. And in this screencast, I want to show you how you could make a clickable link um, in a forum uh, on Blackboard. And so the purpose of this is that you are sharing uh, with your peers uh, a web address uh, that they may want to go to. And uh, if you don't set it up correctly, uh, they'll have to copy and paste the web address into their browser uh, rather than just being able to click on the link and have them take it uh, have and be taken directly to the site. So <clears throat> I'm in a uh, forum here uh, on Blackboard. I'm going to click on that. Just so happens I'm the only one participating. Uh, but that's okay. It's just for pretend. And so I'm going to create a new thread. And let's say that um, I want to uh, share uh, with my uh, colleagues um, a site called Prezi. Um, and, and it could be used instead of PowerPoint. So I put in a subject. And then I'm going to um, uh, type in the text, giving my reasons uh, why they might want to consider this uh, resource. And so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, type in um, OK. And so then let's say that I start to list um, reasons below that. And so I have, number one, I list some reasons. Um, but I also want to provide them with the link so they can go directly to Prezi. And so I'm going to, above where I typed, I'm actually going to put the URL in. And so to make sure that I get the right URL, I have the site open. So it's Prezi.com, and I'm just going to select that text and uh, copy it. And then go back to Blackboard. And so I can paste it in here. So I'm just right-clicking and pasting it. And it I had a little bit too much there, so it um, uh, deleted my uh, return. And so I just needed to return again. But the URL is there now. And if you would go ahead and and um, submit this, okay, and then we come back to this, um, we would see that this is not a clickable link. And so other people would have to copy and paste it. So if we edit that, and if we select it, we can choose this little globe symbol, which is the hyperlink symbol in Blackboard. And by doing that, uh, we can um, delete the text that's in the URL and paste the URL there. So we get this. And then the other thing I like to do is uh, choose this open link in new window. Now, uh, depending on your browser, it may open it in a new tab. Um, or it may actually open it in a new, in a completely new window. Um, either is fine. So I'm going to select that and submit. And so now you can actually see it's underlined text, and it's indicating that that will be a clickable link, and we'll uh, assume that to be the case. So we'll uh, submit it, and it's always a good idea uh, once you finish your post to go back and uh, uh, test that. So here we see it, and we click on that link. And yes, it does open in this, I'm using Safari here, and it just opens up another tab for us uh, with that in there, OK? Um, the other way that you might want to do it is uh, sometimes um, when we copy a link, it's, it's pretty ugly. So for example, if I copy a link to um, a book on Amazon, uh, typically, they've got um, a computer generated URL that's really long and, and uh, isn't something that's 
very pretty to look at. And so uh, when you would be pasting something like that, uh, you might choose instead. So let's let's edit this again. Instead, you might just choose to select a key term that you want to make a hyperlink. Again, uh, choosing the hyperlink um, globe, pasting, and I'm I'm making sure I del I select that HTTP colon slash slash. Otherwise, if I just paste it in there, I'll get it twice. So I'll paste in my URL again, however long it is, and again choose open link in the window and submit. And because I highlighted the text first, it's just making that term um, the hyperlink instead of um, uh, having the URL be one. So uh, go ahead and uh, use the URL if it's a short one, um, but if it's a long, ugly URL, you might want to use a key term. Uh, as your hyperlink and then again submit and we test to make sure others will have the right experience so we click our link and it gave us a new tab in this browser so that should take care of it hope that answers any questions you might have about making a hyperlink uh, for the resources that you're sharing have a great day